Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Friday the 18th of February. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the Radiant Rider Waite deck for today's reading. Let's see what the cards have to say about this day and what energy you'll be working with. So the first card is the Hermit. Then we've got the Eight of Pentacles. And finally, the Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay, so we've got two eights. Eight in numerology is about strength and power. And these two cards, this one is about the strength to be very, very productive, to get a lot done, and to use all of your strength and your energy and your light, and to translate it into something practical that you can benefit from and other people can benefit from. Here we've got the strength to walk away from something which no longer serves you. So letting go of an addiction or no longer engaging in toxic behavior. Being able to kind of unstick yourself from a situation that's hooked you in the past and you finally get the freedom to walk away. So we've got these eights, then we've got a nine. In numerology, we really just use the numbers one through to nine and that's the beginning of a cycle and the end of a cycle. So we've got the strength here to affect real change, either to walk away or to produce something new. And then we've got the nine here with the hermit, the completion of something. So I get that there's something that you've been working on for a long time or something that you've struggled with as an individual. So something about your your way of thinking or your feelings or the way you see the world and the way you operate in it. You get new information which shines a lot of light onto your situation, which gives you greater understanding about your work or about the way you engage emotionally or spiritually or in romantic relationships. And because you have this greater vision now with all the light, you're able to see your own part in certain situations, how your role in those situations isn't particularly helpful and how you can let go. So I get that there's a completion of some sort of emotional cycle. You grow up, you don't necessarily grow up, but you grow through facing adversity and difficulty. And with that growth comes a real sense of security in yourself. So you're going to be less interested in what other people think of you on this day or how you're going to be evaluated or seen by other people. You can see the town in the background here. He's distanced himself from the town and he's working by himself. So it's interesting because the things that you'll connect with most on this day are or is your own inner sense of strength and this wonderful sense of freedom from society or other people or a sense that you have to decide a certain way because other people want you to or they're going to be happy if you choose A instead of B. And you totally step back from all of that and you're able to see things as you. The, this, the, the light of the hermit here illuminates everything so you get this amazing sense of clarity and that clarity says, I get to decide what I work on, what I walk away from, what's important to me and what isn't. And it's really a fabulous moment of saying, I am a free individual, I can do whatever I like. So it's a spiritual awakening in the truest sense of the word because you realize your own power and you don't sweep it under the rug. You say, I have this power for a reason. I'm meant to do something with it. I've come to planet Earth for a particular purpose. And it is not my job to simply say yes to other people or to deny my own needs and desires. It's important that I live my life the way it's, it's um, presenting itself to me, if that makes sense. You know, we all feel this energy in our bodies or in our souls that prompts us to move in certain ways. It's interesting because does that stem from you or does it stem from some bigger power? And it's kind of a rhetorical question because I feel that we're all created a particular way, whether we like it or not, and that the way we are kind of pushes us to connect with 
particular people or certain places or ways of presenting ourselves in the world, of working, and that, yes, we do have free will to walk away from certain things, but we also have certain natural talents and inclinations. And if you, one, understand them, you have more power over them. And two, getting to know yourself and what your desires are is important because you do owe it to yourself to pursue them. Okay, so we've got a lot of info here. So the, the Hermit is a major arcana card that says you get to a point in life where it's not just enough to listen to other people and to follow instructions. Remember the Hermit is the ninth step on the Fool's Journey. So we've got the Magician, number one. Then we've got the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, and so on, until you get to the Hermit. And he's had several relationships by now. He's tried to follow other people's instructions. And he says, hang on a minute, I actually have my own ideas and I want to understand this for myself so I can use this staff here, which is a wand, fire, life, purpose and passion, so that I can see what's in front of me and I can have some peace and quiet and I can pursue my own life the way I want it to. You can see he's standing on top of all these mountains. So the message is the hard work's already been done. The, the, the gift of the hermit is that the light bulb goes off and you say, hang on a minute, I need to think for myself on this planet. Following other people's instructions isn't going to pay off if I want to have the kind of life that I dream of. So it's really the, the ability to think for yourself and to say, I have value and I have my own gray matter that I'm going to put to use. So then we've got the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles shows this young man working very hard and being very productive. So simply, you can get a lot done when it comes to your work, when it comes to um, organizing your circumstances, and to really feel like you're on top of things. And it's this clarity of the hermit, the um, shining a light, light on what it is you want to be working on, that then empowers you even more. And yes, you can get a lot done in your existing job, but you can also work to think about your future and how you want to be working in future, what community you want to be a part of, whether the job you're in now is good and right. So for example, he has to step away from the town to make these pentacles. He needs peace and quiet and he needs to concentrate. So on this day, he could continue to do that, but he could also think, what kind of job can I do where I stay in the town, where I don't have to commute, and where I can speak to other people, if, for instance, he doesn't like working by himself and he's more of a people person. So really, work isn't going to be an issue. You're, you're on top of what you have to do, and with this additional light, you're able to look at what you'd like to do in future. So a lot of practical ideas about your situation and whether you fit into it or not. And with that, the ability to choose again, which leads us to the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups, remember in the Minor Arcana, they all go from the Ace, the number one, and then two, three, four, all the way up to ten. So the higher you go, the more of the element you've got. Cups is water, that's feeling. So by the time you get to the Eight of Cups here, your feelings are so strong that, again, they prompt you to do something. You know, if, I'm, if I see something as I'm walking down the street and I'm disgusted by it, that disgust is going to prompt me to move over to the other um, side of the street to get away from this thing that has revolted me, right? So here you've got such strong feelings that you decide to walk away from things that are good in your life for example, the existing job or a comfortable relationship or um, a house you've been in for 30 years. And you walk away from it because something has become so charged emotionally that it says, this no longer works. Face your fears or walk away despite of your fears. So the illumination here, this understanding, the spiritual awakening shows you what no longer works and where it's no longer appropriate to 
really um, work super, super hard at it every day. Because the best thing to do now with this greater understanding is to walk away from it. So the question is, what no longer serves me? What have I grown in my life? What situation am I still in that really no longer serves me, that's draining all my energy, my working energy, and that gives me very little in return? Ask yourself that and then do the work as such to get rid of the negatives, to apply this light, to not go into denial or to say, oh, well, I know I need to change something, but it's really inconvenient. So let me just ignore this and continue on. I mean, that's a choice. But the better choice is to say, okay, I see this for what it is. It doesn't please me. So I know it's scary. I know it's been in my life for 185 years, but it's time to walk away because this relationship is no longer 50-50. It's me giving 90% and maybe getting 10% back. So this is the kind of day where you can really make a break with something toxic. It's important to have this kind of energy because it takes a lot of courage to say, oh, you know, this has been part of my life for five years. I know it's not working. And on this day, I'm going to walk away from it. That takes a lot of, a lot of strength. And you certainly have that today. So what no longer serves you? And how can you be done with it on this day once and for all? Number wise, we've got eight and eight is 16. And nine is 25. Two and five is seven. And seven in numerology is the mind and creativity. So use your creativity to paint a mental picture of your future and use the spiritual awareness and understanding to really flesh that out and to say, okay, I'm going to put my chisel and hammer down for a minute. I'm going to stop digging and I'm going to see what else is out there for me and what other directions I could go in. So that looks super promising. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com on the front page. Scroll down a little bit until you get to the book your readings button. <clears throat> Click on that to order your reading with me. And in my personal readings, I use astrology, the tarot and numerology. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.